to the, oops, I lost one. Hi, sweeties. I've got a good one for you today. We are going to do a battle head-to-head -head of the Always Pan from Our Place versus the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. That's right, head-to-head, -head, the Always Pan versus the Never Stick. Let's get into it, but first, please, subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Now let's talk about these pans. Both the Always Pan and the Ninja Foodie Never Stick are made of aluminum. The Always Pan has an aluminum lid. It comes with a beechwood spatula that attaches on with this little notch, and it also comes with a steamer. The Ninja Foodie Never Stick comes with the pan and the lid, no accessories. The pan is anodized aluminum with a stainless steel handle. The top is glass with a stainless steel frame. The Always Pan weighs about three pounds. The three quart Ninja Foodie Never Stick also weighs in at about three pounds. The Always Pan comes with a helper handle, while this size of the Ninja Foodi Never Stick does not. This is a 2.6 uh, quart pan, and the Always Pan, for now, just comes in this one size. There are no other options with the Always Pan at this time. The Ninja Foodi Never Stick line has a variety of sizes and shapes. It's got saute pans and skillets and stock pots and saucers. This is a three quart Never Stick by Ninja Foodi, and the Always Pan is 2.6 quarts. To the Our Place website, the Always Pan is made with their exclusive non-toxic, non-stick ceramic coating, and it is cast aluminum and it comes with two pour spouts. The Ninja Foodi Never Stick Saute Pan is made out of hard anodized aluminum that gives it the non-stick surface, but it has a stainless steel handle that is riveted on. The Always Pan measures just about 10 inches in diameter across the top and eight and a half across the bottom, about two and a half deep. The Ninja Foodi Never Stick is just about 10 and a quarter across the top and nine and three quarters across the bottom, giving you a larger surface area and also just about two and a half inches deep. The biggest difference between the Our Place Always Pan and the Ninja Foodi Never Stick is that the Our Place Always Pan is not oven safe. According to their directions, you cannot put this in the oven. The Ninja Foodi Never Stick is oven safe to 500 degrees. The pan and the lid are oven safe to 500 degrees. I asked on Twitter, what food should I use to demonstrate this uh, Ninja Foodi Never Stick versus Always Pan? And Ash, Bryant, and Judy all said they wanted me to do eggs. Eggs with no oil. And I also saw a Facebook post by Ninja Foodie Never Stick where people were asking about doing eggs with no oil. And this is how the folks at Ninja Foodie recommend you to scramble eggs. To break the egg into the pan and let it sit for a minute or two. And then scramble it in the pan. This is the first time I'm doing it like that. So let's see. You can see the egg in the always pan as the white has gotten a little bit browner. Um, you really have to watch the temperature in the always pan and keep the temperature medium to low. And you can use metal utensils in the Ninja Foodi Never Stick, but you should only use wooden or silicon um, utensils in the always pan. And you can see the egg slides around really easily in the Ninja Foodi Never Stick, but it's stuck a bit in that always pan. So I think that's a good example of how these nonstick surfaces work. And um, you know, no oil in either pan. 
it stuck a bit in the always pan, but no sticking at all in the Ninja Foodi. Never stick. Yeah, I've never scrambled my eggs like this before, cracking it straight into the pan and then scrambling it like this. But I mean, this is what the Ninja Foodi folks recommended, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And the Ninja Foodi Never Stick is working really well. It's doing a great job. Um, and I feel like it did a better job than the Always Pan. That egg is sliding around real good and that Ninja Foodi Never Stick. Very happy with that performance. Again, no oil in either pan and no sticking. The egg in the Always Pan is not sliding around as well as the one that we did in a Ninja Foodi Never Stick. It's okay, but um, not as good. For our next test, we're going to do steak. That's right. Over on Twitter, Gretchen said she wanted me to do a steak dinner in these pans, and that's what we're going to do. First, we'll season them up with my homemade seasoned salt blend. I'll put a link to the recipe for, in the description, and we'll heat each pan over medium heat. Our steaks are seasoned, our ribeyes. They are just about an inch thick. Seasoned with my homemade seasoned salt. I'll put the link to that in the description box. That's on my blog. Pan is getting heated. You can see the spatula there. And frankly, to me, it kind of gets in the way when I'm trying to cook. And I don't really need it right now for this application. The sizzling away nicely. Let's get this into the Ninja Foodi Never Stick. All right, sounds good. And I didn't put anything in these pans because the ribeyes have plenty of fat on them. And as they start to cook, you can see the fat start to render out already. Those steaks have been cooking now for about two minutes. And you can see quite a bit of fat has rendered out of the steak that's in this always pan. Let's take a look at the steak in the Ninja Foodi. Never stick. Oh, we got some fat coming out there on the bottom, not quite as much. Let's look at the other side. Oh, it looks good. I'm gonna grab my tongs. They have a silicone coated tip because you cannot use metal in the out every in the always pan. And we're gonna flip this. Mm -hmm. It's a nice looking sear on there. Have restarted this one a few seconds before the one in the always pan. Let's take a look at that one. And with the always pan, they say you can use metal utensils. This is very nice. Both look like they are seared very well. Looking good. I'm going to put in some onions and peppers in these pans. All right, those steaks are done. Let's go ahead and pull them out. We can leave our vegetables in there. Take a look at both sides. <laughs> that spatula, when you don't need it, is definitely in the way. I've already knocked it off, but I don't need it to flip the steak. So we'll let these peppers and onions continue to cook. We'll take our, oh, it looks good as well. Let's take that out, let it rest. We can tent it with some foil. Pop in some zucchini. So one pan dish here tonight, folks. Some zucchini in both. Put a little salt, pepper, maybe a drizzle of olive oil, some thyme, and dinner will be done. And if you wanna toss those vegetables around, the non-stick coating works great. And the always pan has a slight curve to the, oops, I lost one, slight curve to it, and those veggies flip around, move around really easily. Let's try the Ninja Foodi Never Stick. They don't flip as easily, because they don't have, the pan doesn't have that slope, so we're gonna need to toss it around, but the non-stick seems to be working just fine. One thing I did notice is that in the Ninja Foodi Never Stick, we've got 
some nice deep color on those veggies where, as in the always pan, it's not taking on quite as much color. Not getting that uh, caramelization as I'd like. This is the steak that was cooked in that always pan. Did a fine job. Got a nice color on it. Cooked evenly. And the Ninja Foodie Never Stick, also nice color. Cooked evenly as well. Both the Always Pan and the Ninja Food Eat Never Stick did a fine job. The Always Pan is a little bit lighter and has a slick non-stick surface allowing us to flip our vegetables around more easily. However, the Ninja Food Eat Never Stick got us much better color on our vegetables and uh, it's a little bit heavier but it's still a very good non-stick surface. You do get a better sear in that Ninja Foodie Never Stick. Now it's time to wash. We've let both pans cool down. We've got a sink full of warm, soapy water, and we're just going to see how the cleanup goes. A little warm, soapy water, not much elbow grease at all, and a dishcloth gets the pan clean with not much effort at all. We'll just go ahead and Make sure we get the back, the front, the sides, and take a look. It's all pretty clean very easily, so I have no problem with the cleanup on this um, Always Pan. The instructions on the Always Pan say that you can put it in the dishwasher, but they recommend hand washing it, so we're going to stick to hand washing. Now, with the Ninja Foodie Never Stick, the instructions say you can put it in the dishwasher, no problems, there's no warnings against that. And it cleans up very easily at well. Inside, outside, and upside down, just warm soapy water and a washcloth. Give it a rinse and let's take a look at how that Ninja Foodie Never Stick did. And it looks nice and clean. Very easy cleanup on both pans. Our next test is going to be melted cheese. We're melting cheddar cheese in each pan. This was requested by our viewer Sonia over on Twitter. She responded to my question and said she wanted melted Parmesan cheese fricos done in each pan. I decided to do cheddar and well, let's take a look. Here in the Ninja Foodie Never Stick, the cheddar is melting. Let's get a closer look at the bubbly goodness getting nice and brown around the edges bubbling starting to slide a little bit and then in the always pan that cheese is melting look how it slips around getting brown around the edges as well we're just going to let that cook for a bit more and see how easily it cleans up let's make ourselves a little snack and toss a tortilla on top of that Ah, uh, this is going to be good. <laughs> okay, so check this out. You can see some of the fat has rendered out of the cheddar cheese into the pan. We're going to start with our Ninja Foodie Never Stick Pan. Slide a spatula right underneath that cheese. And let's take a look and see what the cheese looks like on the other side. Oh my goodness. So nice and crispy brown. <laughs> So good. We can let the tortilla crisp up a little bit in some of that rendered fat. And now let's slide on over to our always pan and do the same thing. You can see that some of the fat has rendered out there. We'll take that wooden spatula that came with the always pan and flip it over. Beautiful. That looks so good. Oh, it's going to be good eating here today. It's time to serve these up, so let's take a look first at the underside of that tortilla. It's gotten browned and crispy, this one in the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. And uh, our pan is pretty clean. You can just see some of the, left, uh, the oil left behind and some crispy cheddar bits. Now, in the Always Pan, let's take a peek. Nice and crispy as well, crisped up in that rendered fat from the cheddar cheese. And same thing, some fat left behind and some crispy cheddar bits. But 
no problem there. Nothing is sticking, so that'll be a very easy cleanup. Our next viewer suggestion came from Candace over on Twitter and she wanted pancakes. So we're gonna cook up a stack of pancakes, some in the always pan and some in the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. No oil for either of those. We're just going pretty standard pancake batter. This is a buttermilk vanilla pancake batter right into the pan. And we're gonna see which pan gives us the better result. Are you following me over on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook? I'll put the links in the description box and that way you can get involved in polls and all kinds of questions and have some influence on what I cook in these videos. Now, you'll notice that the pancake in the Always Pan got significantly darker than the pancake in the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. I tried to keep the temperature about the same, but that uh, Always Pan, the pancake got darker but the inside was still underdone. So I had to turn the heat way down on the always pan to get a better result uh, for our pancakes. So this is the second test where we turn that heat down. And so now those pancakes have started to bubble a bit on the top and we'll flip them over and take a look. And it's got a nice, beautiful golden brown color and that never stick no oil needed and it looks pretty evenly cooked and now in our always pan again we turn the heat way down so that it would cook nicely on the outside and the inside so keep that in mind if you have uh, an always pan but nothing sticking in either pan so i'm happy with both of those results so both of these pans do a fine job with your standard pancake batter. These are my butter, buttermilk vanilla bean pancakes. And they come out nice and fluffy and a nice golden color on both sides. So both of these pans are fine with standard pancakes. However, when you move to a Dutch baby pancake, well, that's a different story. Now with the Dutch baby pancake, you're gonna have to crank up that oven and heat your skillet, because the Dutch baby pan is still made in a skillet. You heat your skillet with some butter. You can put it on the stovetop or in the oven. You pour in your nice batter. It's a pretty thin batter. I made it in the blender to get it nice and smooth. Pour that in, and then right away, you stick that pan into the oven and let that Dutch baby bake up until that batter hits the sides of the skillet and starts to rise up. And it's really a beautiful dish. You can make it sweet, top it with fruit and whipped cream. You can make it savory with eggs and ham. But look how beautiful that came out. This baked pancake came out beautifully in the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. Let's see how we do with the Always Pan. Oh wait, we can't. The manufacturer says not to put the Always Pan into the oven. And that's the biggest difference between the Always Pan and the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. The Ninja Foodie Never Stick pan and lid are oven safe up to 500 degrees. The Always Pan is not oven safe at all. And that baked pancake came out nice and clean from the Ninja Foodie Never Stick. Another issue I have is the size of the pans. I need a larger size pan to feed my whole family of four adults. So I bought the Ninja Foodie Never Stick in the five quart size. This has a helper handle, um, whereas the three quart size does not have the helper handle. That always pan, it just comes in one size, one shape. It comes in a 2.6 quart size and it's just not large enough to feed my whole family. The always pan does come with a steamer insert, so you can heat about a cup and three quarters of water in the bottom of the always pan and then place the steamer insert that comes with it right in once the water is boiling and then put your lid on top and steam your dumplings and we've done that a couple of times since we've had that pan. So that's a nice feature. You'd have to buy an extra 
insert an extra steamer for the Ninja Foodi Never Stick Pan. So for a quick recap, the Always Pan is a lightweight, comes in just about three pounds. It's an aluminum pan. It comes with a bamboo spatula that attaches an old knife on the top and it comes with a steamer, a metal steamer insert. It is a great slippery nonstick surface and I've been using it for about a month now and it's been fine. We'll see after six months how that nonstick surface is wearing. The biggest problem for me with the Always Pan is that it is not oven safe. According to the manufacturer's directions, um, they say not to put it in the oven and that limits the use too much. Um, it also only comes in this one size, one shape. This is it. Um, they probably will come out with more in the future, but we'll see. For now, this is it. For the Ninja Foodi Never Stick. It's anodized aluminum. It comes with a glass lid that has a stainless steel frame. The handle on the Never Stick is stainless steel. Then it also has this insert, this base right here. The nonstick works very well. It is oven safe to 500 degrees, both the pan and the lid, which is important for me because I do a lot of cooking, starting on the stove top and then inserting the pan into the oven. If you're making a frittata or the Dutch baby pancake like I made earlier, if you're sometimes searing a cut of meat on the top of the stove and then finishing it in the oven, I like to do that instead of having to transfer it to another pan. So it's, um, to me, more versatile. They also come in a variety of shapes and sizes. This is the three quart. This is the five quart, and the five quart comes with that helper handle on the side. It also comes in a variety of shapes. They've got a stock pot and a uh, sawtooth and the skillet. So you get more uh, options when you're purchasing a pan. Like, for everyday use, I love a quick one pot meal, so I use this five quart pan quite a bit. Um, so there's more variety. It's also dishwasher safe, and you can, there's no restriction on how hot you can get it. For the always pan, I do recommend that you only heat it to medium, up to medium heat. So be aware of that. The Ninja Foodi Never Stick has a lifetime warranty. It says lifetime, but it's really five years um, with proper use. So you get somewhat of a, a, a warranty with it. And again, I'll continue to use it and show you after six months. Maybe we'll do another head-to-head -head comparison in six months and see how they are wearing, how it's going. But I've had, like I said, both of these for a couple of months now. And, um, you know, they work. They're both good non-stick pans, but for me, the Always Pan is too limited since I can't put it in the oven um, and the size is too small for my regular use. So I don't recommend it if you, if you cook like me. A lot of people like it, that's great. Um, my kids have been really using this st steamer insert more so than I have. They've been steaming their dumplings and all kinds of stuff in there, so they've really been loving it. Um, but again, it's too limited for my use. Um, the Always Pan at this time retails for $145, making it pretty darn expensive. Um, I bought it on Black Friday for $95, so if you can catch a sale, good on you. I also ordered the bamboo steamers um, at a separate cost, but they have not arrived yet, so we'll do an update when the bamboo steamers arrive. Um, the Ninja Foodi Never Stick, you can um, order online directly through Ninja Kitchens. I paid $89.99 for the three quart and $119.99 for the five quart. Um, you can also order it on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box, so check there for more details. I hope that you have uh, learned a little something about these pans. If you're interested in buying either, any questions, please leave them in the comments and we can catch up and address those 
in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and have a delicious day.